Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to yet another Destiny 2 video and I am so excited because I am finally back home uh, from my vacation. For those of you who may not know, I actually did go on a bit of a trip with a bunch of buddies. We went to Portugal, Spain, visited tons and tons of cities. I was gone for basically two weeks, that's why I haven't uploaded in two weeks. And uh, it was one of those vacations where I kind of just wanted to recharge my batteries going into uh, the late summer and of course September when Forsaken drops because you guys know that once that thing drops, I'm literally not leaving my room for three months. I'm going to be working so hard. Uh, and so I kind of wanted just a nice little vacation just to relax and settle down for a bit. And uh, like I said, recharge my batteries. But I'm back now and I'm hella excited. I actually came back at the perfect time because there was a summer update. There's a brand new event that I forgot the name of, which is coming out in a week from now. And um, yeah, there's just a lot of changes that Bungie has made. And uh, one specific thing that they added into the game this weapon right here the whisper of the worm this is a brand new exotic sniper rifle and uh it is essentially the black spindle but not really it's more of like a black hammer and a black hammer is a much better weapon than the black spindle so essentially it has white nail this is the perk that really makes it amazing high base precision damage rapidly landing three precision hits will refill the magazine and the reason why it's better than the black spindle is because the spindle refilled the magazine from your reserves but this actually just refills the magazine out of nowhere you get bullets added into your mag from basically you know nowhere and it's unlimited which is really really awesome amazing for pve and this is just going to replace any previous godlike pve you know exotic heavy weapon that people used prior now what i'm going to do is test this thing out in pvp i have heard good things about this i used it for like one game i saw the aim assist was pretty good and of course that's you know pretty important on a sniper rifle uh, it's got polygonal rifling it's got armor piercing rounds it's got mulligan missing a shot as a chance to return ammo directly into the magazine that's pretty good especially for pvp and then it's got fitted stock as well now i actually have the catalyst here and the catalyst gives it box breathing which is the same perk that darcy has and it's also the same perk that drops from i believe the um that one PVE event, uh, I can't remember the name and it's not really that important, but um, yeah, I, I'm 36% of the way there, which is very nice. I believe it's time gated, three weeks in total. And uh, in terms of the ornaments, I did not buy it. I am not spending any money on cosmetics. I vowed to myself um, at the beginning of Destiny 2, because it was so lackluster, I'm not supporting Bungie at all in terms of cosmetics. So even though they look badass, and if you guys want to, feel free to buy them, I'm not doing it no thank you i am gonna wait for the expansion to come out and uh, i'll spend my money on that so yeah we're gonna take this thing out in pvp give it a whirl and uh, we're also using the ikalos submachine gun if i said that correctly and the dfa hand cannon a little bit of a weird selection here but i wanted to try something different because i'm always using the graviton lens and the antiope and uh yeah here we go guys so if you end up enjoying the rest of this video drop a like as it supports the channel as always and uh let's get right into it I have to be honest with everybody, you have to expect some uh, tier 5 gameplay from me today because uh, if you guys don't know, I haven't played Destiny in two weeks and so you can probably expect me to be a trash can. So just a fair warning to anybody. Oh, did you, you really just rob that? Come on, my dude. Everyone's just picking up this heavy and we're not leaving any for me. We got one shot. Can we like snap this guy or something? Let's see. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. Choke the first shot. Oh, well, this is going to go great, ladies and gents. Aren't those synthos, like, really, really freaking good now or something? I can't remember exactly what they did to them, but I swear they, like, made them hella OP. Where did I just get shot from, huh? Huh? Don't go for that heavy ammo, boy. The DFA, man. I'm liking it. I haven't used it in a while, to be fair with you guys. I've been using the Dire Promise, I've been using the Antiope, and that's basically about it in my primary. And the DFA feels really nice and fresh right now. Feels different. That's the one thing about this weapon that I'm going to really have to get used to. It's the slow aim-in. The slow aim-in time is... <laughs> Three shots, but we got the job done, guys. We, we finally did it. <laughs> Yay me, I'm, I'm amazing. If I choked that shot while the guy was standing still, I was just going to end the video right there. Just stop the recording. It's over. Good 
Oh my lord. Dude, this guy just shit on me. He's blowing me a kiss. Yo, come here. I'm gonna blow something more than a kiss. Ah! Snapper. Snapper dapper, my guy. Ooh, there's more back here. Right, I gotta reload though before I fight these guys. What was that guy just doing standing still shooting like that? Hey, we got that kill. Sweet. How are you guys liking 6v6, by the way? Because I've seen a lot of people on my Twitter feed, mostly content creators, to be honest, because those are the people who I follow, but it seems like all of them are loving it, and I'm in the same boat. You know, I definitely think 6v6 is better than 4v4 for Destiny 2, uh, just as, like, a general playlist that everybody should enter. Um, but it's, it's, playing, uh, it's playing pretty well so far. Obviously, I'm only, like, a game or two in. I wish I won that gunfight. He's going to pick up that heavy ammo too now, isn't he? Oh, he didn't. Okay, okay, okay. I'll take it. Let me get the no scope, please. How? <laughs> How is that not a no scope? What? I'm right in front of this guy's face. And it doesn't want to give me it. I love how much body shot damage this thing does. Because if you miss a headshot, it's not the end of the world. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Come back here, my guy. I just want to say hi to you. I don't want to hurt you. I swear, I won't hurt you, dude. I swear, I won't hurt you, man. Just come here. I want to say hi, please. Ooh, the flinch. Not fun to deal with. I'll be honest with you guys. Not fun to deal with at all. Ooh, okay. Yo, what is even happening? Oh my god, look at his health. Yo, those nice close range uh, quick scopes are actually looking good right now. Okay. I think it's probably because this thing has a lot of uh, aim assist, to be honest with you guys. I don't think it'd be happening otherwise. Oh, Arc Strider. <laughs> Ooh, I shall take that. Oh no, how did I not get that second shot in? Anyways, that was uh that was pretty nice. Whew. 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 Let me reload this bad boy. Whew. No, dude, I wanted the no scope melee so badly. That was nice, though. We got a lot of uh, a lot of juicy snipes right there. And uh, I will say, overall, I'm definitely enjoying this sniper quite a lot more than I thought I would be. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, these guys, like, aren't particularly, like, challenging to hit. Like, a lot of them were running in a straight line and shit. But, like, it's a good sniper. It definitely has a good amount of aim assist. That's what I've noticed right away. Okay, that's a nice double down. Any more takers? Can't synthesize me from there, can you, buddy? Oh my, I'm falling in love with the DFA all over again, guys. I really didn't, didn't think I liked this thing back in the day, but it seems like it's a lot better than the Dire Promise simply because of the range on this thing. The range on this is nasty as hell. Heavy ammo coming back in, so let me back up. I tried helping my teammate out. If he can't win that 1v1, I'm sorry. I don't know, man. I tried my best. I made him weak and everything. There's still heavy ammo on the other side of the map. Oh, I'm, I'm thirsty for that. No! I choked the white nail, boys. Oh, I am depressed. I'm instantly depressed, guys. That's it. My career's over. What? Hold up. Well, nah, 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 nah. Now you're just playing games with me, Bungie. How did that last shot not connect? I'm so confused right now. Can I pull this? 
Oh, we got it. Woo! Give me that. That was a headshot? Woo! Boys, was that white nail? Nah, we didn't proc white nail somehow. I don't know how we didn't proc that, but... Oh my god. Oh! <gasps> If that last one was a headshot, boys, I would have been screaming. Jeez, that was nice. We're doing really well with this weapon, and I'm very surprised because it's not a a fast a fast aim down sights weapon. Like that's usually what you need to be successful with a sniper, and this one's like super slow, and I'm still doing really well with it. So that's surprising. Could you imagine if that was a headshot? Could you just imagine for, for a split second if that was a headshot? Lads. We would have been in there, boys. I need help. Both of my teammates are covering me a little bit. How do I choke the hard... Sorry, the easy shots? But I do... I said I choked the hard. That's gonna be that's gonna be bad. Anyways, how do I choke the easy shots but always get the hard shots? Like that's the one thing that's like common amongst me whenever I'm sniping. I always just choke the easiest of shots. I don't know why. It really sucks. Oh man, I wanted it. Dude, he's standing. St how is he standing still like that? I, they definitely changed something with the skill-based matchmaking, guys, because I, I, it doesn't feel as difficult anymore. Like, you'll have those, like, uh, random players here and there sprinkled into your matches that are just, like, standing still and shooting straight, and it feels amazing. I'll put it that way. It feels really good. 37 bomb, 3.7 efficiency. Not too bad, and I think that was actually Clash. And a lot of people have been tweeting me, by the way, before I end this video. A lot of people have been tweeting me saying, like, oh, I got a 50 bomb, I completed your challenge. Guys, 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 you can't be that ignorant. So, in Clash and Destiny 2, it counts not only your kills, but also your assists into your, like, kill total or whatever. I think it's called defeats in this game. And then on top of that, you, uh, you get one kill equals one score towards 100 in Clash. In Destiny 1, if you got a super kill, you got 125 points, or you got, like, 150 for a streak, or, like, 110 for a headshot, so... It, it was only like realistically 70 kills and you had to get 50 of the 70 uh, for your entire team. In this game, it's way, way easier. So if I do come out with the 50 kill class challenge, which I probably will, um, I'm probably going to do like 60 or 65, which is way more tough. Uh, but anyways, guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of this sniper in PvP. Am I just getting lucky with some of these shots, or does it have a stupid amount of aim assist? I personally am way too lazy to check that out online, uh, so I'm going to leave that to you guys. And uh, yeah, it's, it's awesome to be back. Look forward to the daily uploads, and uh, subscribe for more daily Destiny 2 content, and we're out of here, guys. Peace.